Good morning. My name is uh, Ferdinando Laposta, Nando, to shorten the, the name. Uh, I'm going to uh, give uh, a broad view of what uh, GitLab uh, as a technology firm in the group uh, is doing uh, in, in uh, the MIFID II compliances environment, uh, strictly speaking about bonds, uh, where we are active in, in past uh, 10 years or more. Uh, we came uh, uh, essentially uh, in the group uh, uh, in 2012, uh, uh, just providing uh, the group with the uh, front-end uh, uh, trading solution, uh, uh, routing, uh, and uh, algos. Uh, and uh, we approached uh, uh, the, the, the customer, LSE customers, in providing what we have done also in Italy uh, in, in past uh, uh, few years when MIFID 1 uh, came up. Uh, as you know, MIFID 1 came up uh, uh, roughly in 2000, 2007, uh, uh, just for uh, setting some rules on transparency for uh, equity products, uh, leaving uh, outside all, all other uh, instruments type, and uh, leaving to brokers uh, uh, the ability to self-control what they are doing. And also they took a decision to uh, uh, learning by doing because they didn't know what's going on uh, with this, uh, 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 these rules. Uh, after uh, the crisis in 2008, uh, in 2009 came out the, the OTC derivatives regulation for uh, 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 obligation on clearing and trading, and this is a step toward the uh, uh, MIFI II that covers essentially uh, all uh, all other uh, asset class, in particular bonds. Uh, and just few words on bonds. Uh, maybe you know better than me, but bonds are completely, uh, totally no standardized product. Depends by the issue, depends by the tax, depends by uh, type, uh, coupon, zero coupon, uh, inflation, wh whatever. Uh, this means uh, you have a plethora of uh, instruments that are totally not standardized. Moreover, the bond market is uh, a quote driven market where market makers play a, a very important role. And on the other hand, uh, the secondary market uh, is a, a, primary, a primary market base, sorry, uh, and while the secondary markets are uh, less uh, wide and uh, with less instrument than the primary market. This means uh, uh, maybe you can find the instrument in the secondary market that is available on primary and different type of instrument than standardization, try to uh, uh, unify those uh, 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 liquidity uh, coming from different sources and different players could help uh, in, in uh, uh, at least uh, uh, playing a game in, in, in transparency. Uh, then uh, let's, uh, these are the, the why, uh, commitment why and purpose of uh, MIFI 2 uh, uh, on bonds, but uh, in, in general, also in general, on other asset class. Uh, reinforce the transparency. Uh, why? Because we don't have uh, uh, enough data to to work with uh, in order to define a, a, a right price for for that instruments. Uh, and moreover, uh, the price formation and portfolio valuation are the key point for uh, 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 trying to uh, help customers in uh, having the right uh, uh, the right trade. Uh, where uh, uh, LSG and GitLab can help. Uh, essentially, uh, best execution is uh, the main goal. Uh, what does it mean? So I'm not saying anything new, but just uh, recapping uh, uh, what has to be done for uh, MIFID II compliances. Uh, we need to aggregate liquidity. Uh, liquidity comes from uh, uh, regulated market, OTC market, uh, voice uh, market, uh, retail market, uh, uh, 
from everywhere. And uh, uh, the main goal of uh, uh, MIFID II compliance system has to be liquidity aggregation, uh, understanding where is the liquidity, pull all together, and then try to uh, 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 find the, the right price. Uh, what, uh, uh, the price is not the only item that we have to take in, into account. We need to take into account uh, uh, total cost of transaction. Uh, we have to need uh, to take into account likelihood and speed of execution, ranking uh, the counterparties, ranking the venues. And we need to take into account also commissions. We need to take into account a lot of uh, 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 um, parameters that uh, mainly are uh, uh, brokers based uh, uh, and combined with the price. Only at the end of this merging of all information, we could essentially depict uh, a real, uh, a real uh, uh, price depth in which we can trade in. Uh, two items are very important for uh, best execution also are uh, we have to store everything, any piece of code, any piece of information, any piece of activity that we have done has to be tracked. Uh, we must... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry for this. Um, we must provide, uh, we must provide absolutely a, a, a proof of what we have done to execute the, in the best way what, uh, what, what uh, is requested by, by the customer. And uh, of course, we have immediately uh, take into account any request coming from everywhere to show what we have done. This means tracking real time everything. Uh, of course, reporting uh, what we have done outside and regulated market and, uh, and, and so on. Uh, what's happening uh, with the uh, uh, bonds as well, uh, like in, in, in uh, equity space? Uh, we uh, might have uh, opportunities uh, to organize uh, this trading in uh, organized trading facilities or uh, uh, multilateral trading facilities. Uh, this implies another uh, big problem that uh, maybe uh, from my point of view, uh, MIFID II is still considering. Um, how um, the uh, liquidity, uh, how, how consider uh, an instrument liquid or illiquid, okay? Uh, because uh, uh, of this, uh, you will have different obligation in uh, uh, exploring, uh, uh, in uh, sorry, in publishing prices uh, and giving uh, uh, sites, right sites and right price for 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 that instrument. Uh, of course, uh, those uh, uh, organized trading facilities that we could support with our uh, infrastructure uh, needs to provide a continuous quoting. Uh, 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 and continuous uh, uh, ability to quote from uh, from uh, uh, a market maker, uh, having uh, at least 50% of the daily trading time to to be uh, uh, to be uh, active into into the market. Again, this threshold depends on on liquidity or uh, of the specific uh, of the specific instrument. Um, publishing uh, post-trade activity and uh, is a mandatory, uh, maybe uh, a strong uh, uh, commitment will be uh, to reach the microseconds that we saw uh, before in the presentation of uh, uh, our colleague uh, of Deutsche Börse, uh, reaching microseconds uh, uh, and uh, synchronizing what we are doing against uh, external venues, external counterparties, and uh, uh, internal systems will be uh, a very huge uh, 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 bet. <laughs> Let me say bet, but uh, we, are, we, we will have to do a lot on, on this. Uh, of course, uh, uh, bilateral uh, um, uh, exchanges, bilateral um, um, marketplace, will grow maybe for commercial reason. 
uh, in which uh, a broker would like to uh, set uh, is uh, and promote his quote on on particular set of instrument, maybe illiquid one, uh, to promote commercial activity. And uh, we will see uh, essentially uh, in this space uh, a, a new uh, flavor of uh, systematic internalizer on on bond market. Uh, just to give you a picture, uh, in Italy uh, we started on this item. This is why we are ready to approach MIFID two bonds marketing uh, currently outside Italy because we took the decision, not me personally, but <laughs> our regulators took the decision to start this approach um, uh, on bonds even uh, three years ago. And then we already have uh, 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 time to digest all those uh, compliances uh, and, and needs in, in uh, uh, in, in the space, uh, more or less uh, every 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 bank in Italy has its own systematic internalizer, and then we will see something similar in in in, in the bond market here, hopefully. Uh, maybe the discussion again, liquid versus illiquid, uh, will be the, the central part of uh, when, if, and what has to be quoted and to be uh, available through a systematic internalizer. Uh, what is mandatory for every one of us that are independent software vendor or dependent software vendor, uh, we need to follow the rules because the rules maybe are going to change in, 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 in the next two years or so, and then we must and also after the go live in, in, in January 18, uh, the rules may, may change. And then we have for sure take into account to follow those rules and provide the customers with uh, uh, an updated uh, 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 platform for uh, compliances and for, uh, uh, um, uh, um, for uh, handling uh, uh, those kind of activity. Uh, Essentially, uh, this is what uh, uh, is can be offered by by the group and by GitLab as a technology firm. Uh, okay, very uh, very fast. Uh, what we uh, what we have uh, done is essentially a, a, a bond uh, platform in which we could. Uh, uh, Combine liquidity coming from regulated markets like uh, MOT, uh, uh, TLX, uh, Broker Tech, or, or uh, uh, Orb, LSE Orb. Uh, we can combine those liquidity coming from uh, internalizers. Uh, we can combine with the external uh, venues, uh, non regulated venues like Bloomberg, uh, like TradeWeb, like Reuters. That has a very, uh, as you know, has a very uh, hard big player on on bonds world, especially in in OTC in OTC field. Uh, combining this liquidity means not handling just with the protocol, simple protocol provided by the market, but also implies uh, uh, taking into account uh, RFQs, any type of RFQs, uh, uh, any type of. Uh, uh, indication of interest uh, or uh, uh, not firm price. It's, uh, as you can imagine, combined liquidity in bond fields is not uh, uh, a snap uh, in which uh, we ask prices from different sources and combine all together and, and so on. Uh, moreover, uh, aggregating uh, uh, the market is just first step. After that, uh, we need absolutely take into consideration internal cost, external cost, ranking the counterparties, uh, ranking uh, uh, the quality of uh, uh, trades that we are doing with uh, counterparties. And this uh, allows us to refine the super, uh, we call it super liquidity book in which we combine everything. Uh, at that point only, we can execute. Uh, we can execute uh, splitting, uh, sweeping, uh, uh, doing what, what is uh, normally uh, done in, in, a, in an equity market. Uh, we, we have uh, two types of uh, uh, execution, but it doesn't make any big difference in the sense that uh, 
we could completely automatically perform uh, those activity without giving uh, uh, giving just uh, uh, feedback to the traders without the traders put hands on uh, and uh, uh, we can also manually uh, provide the information uh, um, we can provide also activity um, uh, provide tools to the trader for manual intervention in this uh, in this uh, huge automatic uh, automatic process uh, I don't think I have to add uh, uh, more uh, I'm just going to repeat what I said uh, in, in the first part uh, of the presentation uh, I want just uh, say uh, this uh, um, uh, having uh, uh, this platform ready doesn't mean that uh, is uh, 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 you 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 <coughs> put in uh, uh, in a stone what we have done, but this has to be uh, a live uh, environment, a continuously evolving environment in which the rules can be plugged uh, easily plugged, uh, uh, requests by the customer can easily plugged the new. Venues, the new uh, uh, sources has to be plugged. Uh, and this means uh, uh, this type of uh, environment has to uh, uh, be uh, uh, built on top of uh, a very flexible environment. And, and that's why we built this on uh, our algorithmic environment in which uh, we can handle, uh, uh, we can increase uh, functionalities we can put inside the new, new functionalities, but also the brokers can do in order that it can, uh, can be free, it can be free to, to uh, let this system evolve uh, for uh, uh, the needs of the, of the market. I don't think I have to add anything else uh, if you have uh, any question, otherwise uh, we go to, to the panel. There are a lot of uh, information that I, I would not read because uh, are boring, are boring one. <laughs> if you have any question, otherwise. Uh, In one of the slides, you mentioned that uh, for best execution, uh, that has to be uh, informed to the you know, informed to the customer or to the regulator. Information to the customer will go as part of the trade confirmation notes, or that will be separate report. Okay. Um, for us, best execution is something uh, that uh, runs or born as soon as we receive an order. Uh, the order comes uh, in any instrument type that the brokers handle, uh, because for uh, uh, coming from customer requests. At that moment, we start the best execution. Because, as I said, best execution is not a straightforward uh, uh, requirement from an electronic market like an equity. Because in equity, best execution means having from beginning of the day, end of the day, all the market inside, let me say, a memory in a server, having everything uh, inside, and you have always in, a, uh, in one shot of time uh, 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 the, the best execution uh, ready, available. This is not in, in bond market because uh, you uh, often in bond market has to deal with the long-lived transaction in which we have to ask, oh, do you give me a good price? Oh, yes, one moment, I'll give you a price. Oh, I have uh, just, uh, I, I set the price on Bloomberg, but it's not uh, uh, eatable. Uh, w wait a moment, I'll give you the final price. And oh, this was... Uh, of course, uh, a reason why best execution starts only when uh, 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 an order comes in. Uh, of course, if you have a regulated market inside the plethora of uh, a liquidity pool, uh, you have their data immediately available in, in the memory. But while uh, uh, you have to add to this uh, uh, available, re uh, real-time available uh, regulated market uh, data, you have to add with those uh, other information, indication of interest, uh, uh, not uh, uh, eatable uh, uh, indicative price, uh, and ask for a film price, and you, you must go in this direction. Okay? I don't know if you, uh, I answered your question, but it's, it's something that has to be built while the orders comes in. Cannot be continuously 
formed. For example, let me make an example. In Bloomberg, uh, uh, this system, our system, completely avoids uh, usage of Bloomberg terminal, trade web terminal, Reuters terminal. He substitutes those terminals to, to brokers, okay? Uh, this means uh, uh, if uh, I go to uh, uh, contact a counterparty in uh, uh, um, a competitive RFQ, uh, maybe I could receive uh, uh, one uh, firm price, two indicative price for the same instrument that has to be combined on the same uh, uh, liquidity pool. At the end, I have to decide, do I have to wait for a firm price, or I go ahead without a firm price. And this, uh, uh, another, uh, in, in this type of decision, uh, a, a ranking of my counterparties plays a very good role, because uh, if uh, uh, my counterparty is ranked uh, at high level, it would be better to wait uh, his answer to combine uh, a right liquidity, a best execution liquidity, and show to my customer that everything is uh, in. Uh, if, uh, if not, if it's ranked slow, maybe I could uh, uh, avoid to wait uh, and go ahead uh, for, for, uh, for my route without waiting. That's it. This is a dynamically reaching of, of liquidity. Just to continue your, your last comments, uh, because you mentioned that uh, your, your smart order order can split uh, the order between different liquidity pools. How you manage the situation when in one or in two liquidity pools you receive uh, reject for deal? So, of course, if, if part of them are regulated trading venues, uh, you cannot get the situation. But with uh, TC liquidity pools or with counterparties pools, you can easily get reject for deal on, on your order. But yeah. you have big order which you split in different pools. How you manage this? Uh, yeah, we we don't have a, a, a title couple uh, a, 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 a title couple of strategies. Uh, what what I mean is that uh, talking with the, our customer, I mean the broker uh, essentially uh, has a, 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 a set of uh, regulation between uh, uh, him and his uh, uh, his customer, and uh, uh, the regulation between him and his customers that. Uh, are uh, MIFID uh, documentation that has to be exchanged. In this type of the documentation, there is some uh, uh, constraint relaxing in which uh, uh, you could uh, take into account uh, this type of uh, uh, actions. And using our uh, flexible algorithmic environment, you can say, please, if you are in this situation, uh, please uh, 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 remove, uh, don't, don't forget to reject. Show that you have uh, added the reject uh, to, to your customers for uh, uh, for this type of situation in, into uh, the liquidity pools, and then uh, take a decision or to move on another on another uh, a worse price or completely start again in find the liquidity. Uh, uh, without uh, uh, fr from fr from from the beginning, uh, this is why the, the smarter the rating in bo bond uh, world is is not uh, even if uh, uh, there is always attention to latency, it's, it's not latency sensitive in the sense that there are a lot of uh, uh, trying uh, before achieving uh, uh, the, the, the the price that uh, has to be proved to to to, to the end user. Thank you so much.